everybody today I'm going to show you how to make one of these windmills for this project the things we're going to need some sellotape we're going to need something for making some holes so something with quite a sharp point this is a dotting tool if you're going to use something like this please make sure that you've got an adult to supervise you a pen with a hard nib this is a big pen and this is just quite good for making bigger holes and then a piece of corrugated cardboard that you use for pushing into for making the holes so you don't damage the surface that you're working on. We need a pair of scissors, some Pritt stick type glue, doesn't have to be Pritt stick but just some glue like this, nice and easy to use. A paper stick which I have done a separate tutorial to show you how to make your own. Basically, it's a sheet of paper rolled up nice and tightly and glued. So you need to make one of these. A straw. These ones are waxed paper straws, but they can be plastic. And you need to cut 2.5 centimetre section and a 1 centimetre section off your straw. You need a little piece of card and mark out a 1 centimetre square and from this we're going to cut either oops, butterfingers a small circle shape or a hexagonal shape depending on how clever you are at cutting out and then we're going to need two little strips of paper which is less than a centimetre wide and one, two, three, five, four or five centimetres long. So we need two of those which we're going to use to make stoppers. And then you need a square piece of paper. Now this piece of paper can be any size you want it to be. Um, this, this one is 14 centimetres square okay if you want to make it smaller you can if you want to make it bigger you can but it's I think bigger probably gets a little bit too big so how I've created this square was I've taken an A5 sheet of paper and if you just fold down to this point and then turn and fold this point and then cut down this line here you will end up with this size square I've then used this spare piece of paper to cut these little pieces here which we're going to use as the stoppers for our windmill okay so when you've created and chosen your size of your windmill you can either do use colored paper you could use card or you can use plain paper and then color it to a design and color of your choice I will be doing later tutorials to show you different options and different ways of making this windmill. 
So, when you've got the size paper that you want, first of all you're going to fold corner to corner this way and then fold corner to corner this way. And then you're going to mark, so from an end point, this is halfway, so just past halfway make a mark and on each corner halfway make a mark just past halfway and do for each corner section and then what we're going to do is take your scissors and very carefully cut down that crease line to just past the halfway mark and we do this four times okay and then we need to make a hole in the middle so this hole is going to be quite a large hole so I'm going to put my corrugated card underneath, take my hard nibbed pen and just push through. And it needs to be a reasonable size because eventually this straw is going to fit through. Okay, so when we've done that, we're now going to basically fold opposite corners down to the middle. So you need to take your glue <clears throat> and you can do it one of two ways. You can either put your glue in the middle here first or you can just glue straight onto the out, outer corner. So let's start with this corner. Fold the corner in to the centre but not quite at the centre because you need to leave space for the hole to go through and then just hold and press. Now we need to carry on gluing each of the corners so apply the glue, fold the edges down and hold and press. If you find like I am here that the glue's not dry quickly enough Fold all the corners down and then use something to weight the edges down. I've used the Pritt Stick glue bottle to just hold them in place until the glue has dried properly. So like this and then leave it to dry. Whilst the windmill is drying we're going to start making the stoppers. So how we do this is take one of these pieces of paper and the cocktail stick and we're just going to start rolling just to get some shape and then just a little bit of glue on that end, hold this end down and then put lots of glue onto there. Carefully start rolling. This needs to be nice and tight. It doesn't matter if it starts to move off the centre line like this. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then we're going to take that off. And this is going to be, we're going to use this later, so just do a little pinch on the end and we're going to leave that to dry for later and then we're going to do the same with this so let's just start rolling it so that it rolls nice and easily and then put glue on that end put glue all over And 
then this one we're going to dip the stick into the glue so that we've got lots of glue on the tip of the stick and then push the little stopper up to about there. I'm going to cut off this little sharp point from the cocktail stick and then just push this stopper up and squeeze on the end. And then we're going to leave that to dry and that makes our top stopper. Now we're going to take the small piece of card that we've marked the one centimetre square on. You can either cut a circle out of this square or cut the square out and then cut the corners off to make a hexagonal shape. This is a little bit easier than making a circle. You can then either colour in with a colour of your choice or take the cardboard and stick it onto a piece of coloured paper and then carefully cut around the cardboard shape and then you've got your coloured shape that we need. We now need to make a hole into these little shapes so take your corrugated card and a sharp implement to make the hole and very carefully press in the centre and make a hole that's big enough for the cocktail stick to go through. It's now time to start putting it together. So push the little shape onto the cocktail stick and then take the fan, make sure the hole in the middle is big enough for the straw to go through, apply glue to the edges of the straw and then push through, leaving a centimetre at the back, make sure that the windmill is firmly stuck to the straw, push the little cocktail stick through and then put the smallest section of straw in place. Take your paper straw, fold the top down and apply some sellotape. This is just to reinforce the straw. Then pierce a hole about a centimetre down. If you feel that your tip isn't strong enough, put some more sellotape round until it feels nice and firm and won't bend. Push the paper stick onto the cocktail stick. If it feels there's not enough room, cut some of the smaller straw in half, replace onto the cocktail stick and then push on the paper stick. Push down till it's nice and firm. Check that your windmill spins. Now apply lots of glue to the tip by pushing into the print stick, snip off the sharp tip, apply the stopper that we made earlier and give it a good tight squeeze and pinch and then leave this to dry making sure that your windmill is nice and firm and then there we have our finished windmill. In parts two and three of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made these windmills using sparkly foam card. This one I made from two different colours of paper. This one I've done two different colours of paper and then I've weatherproofed and laminated and coloured the stick. And this one I took some plain paper, hand painted with rainbow colours and laminated. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial, if you have please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future tutorials.